hey guys and welcome back to my channel on today's video we're gonna be drawing a wedding dress so let's get to it okay guys before we begin our process we're gonna need an eraser and a pencil so let's get into it so first of all i'm gonna start designing my first part of the dress i'm gonna i'm gonna be drawing the sleeves i'm gonna i chose spaghetti sleeve for this part because I really want to just make my dress look loose, not too tight, but just be loose for you guys to just feel comfortable in it. So, first of all, I'm just going to draw the spaghetti spaghetti sleeve, then I'm going to work myself down to the bottom. So, let's get into the process. Just be careful of two dark pencils, just use a light one, it's best to, for drawing. And also guys, don't mind the mistakes. Just continue drawing because we're all still learning here. I am still a new person to you. So guys, just don't say you want to give up because I drew this kind of dress. So you also should learn to from whatever I'm doing. Make sure your top part is really toned and really shaped properly. It should really look like a normal, a normal clothes on the top. Like really tight, like just like a print. If you guys watch Disney princess and stuff, you should be looking like those kind of Disney princess dresses on top. Guys, it's all right to make mistakes while you're while you're drawing. I always do it all the time. Like I said before, we're all still learning. I am still a newbie. We're all still newbies here, so guys, don't mind. Just it's all right. Just work with it. Just flow with the flow. As you can see, there I'm not really using that darker pencil. I'm using a HB, which is really good for drawing, and. I don't really and a HB2 is a really good pencil for shading in that's a good one but don't use a HB pencil HB2 pencil for um drawing because that one won't really look good just try to use the HB pencil it's really good and helps to just make sure it helps your work to look like light and just has that light tone for your artwork Don't be afraid to rub anything out. It's all right, but all human will all make mistake. Okay, guys. So here we should we should be getting into our into our shape already done, and everything should be okay on the top. Then we're gonna start. Then we're gonna start drawing the bottom part. So first of all, here I just drew. A normal line should just help me just like a normal line should just guide me down to just draw the, the bottom part so so we're gonna go on and just make it that that place is really dark because you need to see that shape like that really good shape then we're gonna start drawing our bottom part of the dress and we're gonna start designing it so here I did like some sort of, I don't know how to say it, but they look like smoky, smoky, um, smoky loose fabric coming down the dress. I just started drawing some smoky uh, loose fabric coming down the dress. And just started shaping everything. I did like three layers of this part of the bottom dress. Then I just started drawing my my shape in of the dress. Then we're gonna go on and just shape the dress and just tone it down. 
to just make that flowy looking dress so guys just keep copying what i do So guys, here I started drawing some lines to help me draw that shape, that looking, um, that layer shape that has so much fabric coming down. Here I started to work myself down. I started repeating the same steps that I did to just create those layers. This part took me a while because it was a bit confusing for me to draw this part. It was my first time and I was getting to use draw this kind of clothes. It's really good to show um, those steps that you're taking throughout your drawing. It's really, really, really amazing because it really helps you while, while learning how to draw. That's how I learned. Every time I used to take pictures of my work and just see where I messed up before and I'll come back and see how I can improve next time. Now you should start drawing that pagey that has that much layers on the bottom dress. You have that that fairy looking dress, that fantasy one. So just continue drawing your little, your shapes. Just keep going and keep going. Then after that, you just want to make sure everything looks amazing and looks together make sure it's starting to put together like for example here my dress now i'm starting to organize it together i'm starting to uh, touch it together it's starting to look amazing make sure you really use your pencil and your rubber like whenever you need it because if you really want to work well you need to like you need to make a mistake and also you gotta create the mistake you gotta correct the mistakes so just continue doing the same thing those layers just continue making the same layers that you did you can make small ones, big ones, whatever you want. It's your drawing. You can go crazy with it. As soon as you finish that layer, now you should start thinking about drawing more layers to um, create that flowy and big wedding dress that you always see on those uh, rich weddings on the bottom. Like, for example, here, I started drawing more layers to create that flowy flowy looking those tones that are creating more tones that's my first first layout of the dress then i'm gonna start i'm gonna start putting more layers to create that beautiful big dress so here we go again we're gonna do the same steps that we did before to just create the same layers You can even draw a dress like that, like that can be for like a bridesmaid's dress or something. Something short, something free and anything. But here we go with a big wedding, classy, um, fan fantasy, just something big.
a big wedding dress that you guys like a dreams wedding dress like something i could say someone this could be someone's wedding um weddings dr um, dress wedding dress do exactly the same you did create those layers and if you need more help you can you can just comment some um some ideas of what i could improve on or what i could um add in my drawing sometime when i need to draw or what i could change next time when i need drawing when you guys want to watch another video of, of me drawing something so as an example here here i started adding more layers more of those flowy page page looking like just white and flowy big dress for a beautiful wedding Here you should start working yourself down, create that beautiful layer, that beautiful tone of the dress. You should start looking more like like this dress here, for example. You start creating more of those layers, do the exact same step we did for the first time and just create those kind of layers. And if you need it to be big, make sure that you, you can erase some stuff that you need to erase to make sure the place, like I messed up a little bit and I'm, and on this side, on the left side of the dress, I kind of made it small than the right one, which, which turned out okay, I guess, but I wanted to improve on that, which next time I will improve on that. I will try to do better than how I did it before. Anyway, guys, like I said before, we are all still learning. We're not, we're not all professionals here. I am not a professional. So, guys, just go crazy with your work. Like, I am going crazy with my work. It just came out of my head and it just decided, let me just do this wedding dress because I've never done it before. Like, I just want to challenge myself to get to just start doing more and be flexible in my drawing. Here, it kind of took me a while to draw that that little layer there because it was a bit hard because it was all like on an angle and a corner. Yeah, it was a bit challenging for me in this process because I had to think about it like three times. Just like, how am I going to draw it? And I rub and I erase it out. And it's just like, let me just start drawing the bottom part. Then I'll go back to it. Yeah, guys, if also you can't like figure out how to draw one part of your dress, you can just draw the, the next part and just leave it, then come back, come back to it and finish it off. Here you should be thinking of making the dress bigger now. You should be putting more of those layers. You should be um less less um taking less concentrating in one place. Just be more wired and make the make the dress start coming to life. Start looking more three D. Like you know what I mean, guys. Just do the same simple spot. For example, here I was really struggling with this small little layer because it was on the corner and I was like, should I do it like this? Should I not? I tried to make it bigger, tried to make it small. It didn't work for me. I was just like, let me just make it small. Then I, then I did it again. 
then it kind of came out good and I tried it again because I was trying to get that corner look that angle um, size looking um, dress whenever you're posing for a photo there's something you can take a pose from the a corner and I was like let me just look from this side and then, uh, and then it didn't really come out as I was planned in my head to come out so I just did whatever I could go with because this part I started struggling with a lot like I said guys we're all still learning we are not perfect so learning is good for us all of us but I, I just remind you don't just focus on one thing you can it, this dress can take you like if you have time yeah like for example, I didn't really have that much time. So if you are like doing it in a hurry, just don't really focus on just one thing. Keep keep uh, keep working on all of the parts. Just to be improved, not just one thing. I'm just gonna focus on the um, top part of the dress now. Like me, I'm going everywhere. I'm going um I'm going on the side, I'm going on the left, I'm going everywhere. Just make sure that I create that wedding look. I don't just wanna I don't wanna just focus on one part like the left side now. I wanna work on both. So this part is you should be thinking of just um, f um, going around and just working around the dress, so just, not just one part. You should be thinking more, adding more um, layers. You should be thinking of making it look like 3D, for example, 3D. Here you should start thinking of finishing up the bottom, create more um, layers. It's the part where everything should start looking normal as a normal dress. For example, this might, this dress might be really hard for other people, but for me, I really kind of find it really easy because it was re it was just repeating the same thing that I did over and over again. It just does zigzag lines, does curly lines, and just adding some shapes. So, if you guys uh, if you guys are finding it hard to do this kind of dress, you can just comment on the um you can just comment in the description below and just tell me what uh what kind of dress I could do next time for you guys if you wanna see maybe I can try for you guys to um if I can try to draw it and I can give you an idea on how to draw it. So if you think this dress is really hard for you guys, just comment down below on what dress I should do. That will, ma that will be much easier for you guys because I was trying to challenge myself with this dress because I did challenge myself and I feel like I did really succeed sex succeed throughout this um this drawing because it's my first time actually drawing this kind of dress and I'm really happy with it and I also I also want you guys to be happy with your artwork that you did and if you guys did um if you guys I should draw something like this. You can I can put my Instagram below, and you can send me the images of um the dresses that you guys created throughout this um video. Right now, she's just thinking of more layers. It's the same layers that we did the first time. Just make it more and bigger. Here you should be um you should be able to be finishing your dress by now. You should be collecting all the small little parts and just putting it all together and gathering everything together to just finish it up. For example, here I just started adding some little lines. Just um just create that li that um 3D on the bottom for my dress. I started of thinking how it's gonna flow down how it's gonna sit down so i just add, added, added more lines did the same steps that i did for the first part
continue doing exactly the same start thinking of how you're gonna finish it off start thinking of how what stuff you're gonna put on the bottom just start thinking of how you're gonna shade it and what designs you can add to the dress so it doesn't look just plain like for example other like example other wedding dress they are they are, they are plain but they also do have a good looking on them but I, but if you prefer putting design you can for example i would put designs at the end of this because i don't really like my, my stuff to be looking plain start finishing up some little touches just make sure the dress is, looks complete no, don't leave it incomplete because that won't be anything that would be like eh you didn't make pro progress throughout this thing so just think about it like i said before if you guys really want to draw more um if you really want to learn some more drawings from me just comment down below and we can do more any more crazy stuff Here your dress should start looking more finished. You should just start um, adding some shade. Anything that you have left, you just add. Um, go back and look at any uncompleted layers that you didn't finish. For example, I started going around and looking what I could do. Then I thought of a, I thought of a design. First of all, I thought, I thought I could do something easy. Then it didn't really turn out properly on the top. Like I said, we're all learning. We can make mistakes while drawing. I thought of doing a ball in the front and I was like it, really, it won't really go well with this kind of dress so I just erase it out Guys, here I should start thinking of putting design. I decided to go with the branch because it really, um, really created that beautiful bone from the the bottom of the dress. It made it like those those um, layers look like roots of the of the tree. Then up comes the the tree and just blows up. It just comes tight there. But I really like it. If you guys like want to do anything painting. And just use your finger to just shade in. If you guys, like I was saying, if you guys wanna do painting, drawing and stuff, I can buy paint and I can just create a video and just um, how to paint something. Cause I really love painting. Cause it's just, I just really like it. It's just in my theme. Drawing, painting. I'm really bad at thing drawing people. I'm still learning. Portrait that is really hard for me. But I'm there, I'm getting there. Not really that bad. I'm actually self-taught to draw myself. I never learned from anybody. I just decided to just take classes when I went to high school. I'm gonna say it runs my family. Also my, some of my family with a decent job. Then just add more designs on your tree. Some sequence, it should look like sequences. Here again, you can just take your finger, just shade more, add more pencil, 
and shade. Um, if you guys have, know any shading pens, pens, I used to have one of them. I used to have a pack of them. Then uh, I don't know where I put them. Um, I always use it for drawing. Yeah, you can get them from the dollar store, from Dollars and Cents, Kmart, Bunnings on the painting side, and also you can get it from the art store in the city if you live in Australia, Darwin, and somewhere in America you can get it from Kmart and Target. And Okay guys, that's my dress, um, that's what I've done so far. If you guys really like this kind of videos of drawing like this, you can just comment down below and just leave some beautiful comments for what I could do next time and what stuff I should improve when I'm drawing. So, thank you guys for watching. Please send me your pictures of how, um, how, I, how you drew. I might even mention you in my next video. So, you guys, see you next time. Bye.